What is up, you two? Welcome back to the channel. Here with Cal and his son Devin. We're out doing a photo shoot for them, letting the kid play at the park. It's really loud, those chains. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm building my portfolio, so Cal got a hold of me and said he's picking up his son from daycare out here in Grand Blank. And so we decided to do some photos to build my portfolio because pretty soon I'm going to be offering all kinds of shoots, wedding shoots, engagement shoots, couple shoots, mommy and me, daddy and me, family shoots, senior pictures, band pictures, any kind of occasion shoots, anything you guys need, product photos like I always do. So stay tuned for that, stay tuned for that announcement because I'm gonna be trying to set up a website for all of my shoots, all of my graphic packages, all my video packages, and we're gonna do, do a re-full launch again for the third time. Uh, I spent the last couple months working out kinks, figuring out processes, and actually figuring out what I wanna do with prices and with everything that I have going on with operations. I got some things in the works with Say Something Productions, which is my buddy Ian that I've talked about before. Check out his channel, link down below. You know what's up, Ian? I gotta support my boy. Uh, Cal's Instagram is gonna be down in the description too. We're gonna be doing a lot of extra content for each other soon. He's gonna be starting doing some modeling and following his goals and dreams. So, we're doing some photos for him for some headshots today. And then, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna go about the day, kind of another day in the life vlog, but this is what it's about. So this is Cal's son, Devin. You wanna say hi? Hi. Say hi, CRJ Productions viewers. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> you don't know how to say it? Can you say, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Uh, what's your dad's name? Cal. Is he Superman? Yeah. Or are you Superman? I'm Superman. Who is he? Batman. Is it Batman versus Superman today? Yeah. All right. Do you love your dad? Yeah. <gasps> Shh. So guys, we're going to see you guys back when we do Cal's headshots in just a second. Davin, do you want to slap the camera? No. Yes, you do. Come on. Hi, Cal. I'm not taking a picture. <laughs> Flex it up, guys. Uh, show me muscles. Put them up, Gavin. Uh, You're God. not strong. I'm what? You're not strong. Oh. I'm okay. Okay. So, guys, walking in the gym right now. Got some arm day today. I just got done shooting with Cal and his son. Did some portraits for his for his portfolio for his modeling. Did some pictures of him and his son for my portfolio for some stuff coming out really soon. Just pulled into the rock. Got my water. Ready to hit this arm day. Get that arm pump. We'll see when we get in there. You know what it is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And BCAAs mixed into my water. That's gonna help with the recovery. Dust V2 helps with the energy, and then and hype helps with the pump. And it is arm day, ladies and gentlemen. So that pump, 100% necessary. I'm gonna show you guys the the difference with posing before and after. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. I've gotta mix my ish into the gallon of water. 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 Two scoops of BCAAs help with that recovery because you know what it is but here's the flex before the pump kicks in and then after we do another flex to show you the difference of what the pump actually does it's pretty solid for the traps on me for the traps for the shoulders the delts the biceps and the triceps So I gotta take you out there, we're gonna work out, show you a couple exercises. I know I do it every time, but it's a lifestyle vlog. This is my life, it's fitness. That is what I do all day, every day. So take you guys out there, show you the workout, and then show you the pump. Afterwards, enjoy the music, enjoy the workouts. Let's go. <music> Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on 
feel I don't belong Tell my thoughts to move along Push myself to be the best Die with no regrets Live with every breath See my message start to spread And I had so many dreams Then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems Try to find out what it means Always do it on my own So I got it as the arm day is done, that pump, Ugh, the lighting in here sucks, but try sap. Ooh, that bicep. Did be nice on the pump. Everything feels tight. Blood rushing good to the to all the areas that are needed. Help make that growth and density possible, especially with all the volume I do. So guys, it is time to get out of here. I feel like we're always moving, but it's always on the go for me. That is why my vlogs you'll hear here and here, because I'm always on the go, always moving. So with that, guys, we'll see you back home. All right, guys, I am back at home now, as always, to finish up this vlog. Uh, me and Cal had a really good conversation earlier about the difference between valuing someone's opinion and searching for validation in someone's opinion of yourself and your life. Now, there's a very, very fine line of a difference between the two, and me and him really kind of talked about that because we both struggle with trying to look for validation. And here is the big difference. Valuing someone's opinion is 100% okay. If it's a family member, a friend, a significant other, somebody you look up to, um, for example, for me, somebody I really look up to would be uh, like PJ Braun from Blackstone Labs or Jay Cutler or um, another person is Josh Fiola. I really respect and value his opinion as well. You know, you have your friends. So for me, it's like the Posse Squad. I have my family. And with that being said, valuing someone's opinion is okay because they care about you and they want the best for you. So they put it in perspective for you. And the other one for looking for that validation in someone's opinion is you're always searching for the opinion you want to hear from people. It's not the fact of just looking for those opinions. It, the fact is you base your life around meeting those opinions and trying to please everybody. And that's what looking for the validation is. Now, the main thing that Cal and I talked about is living your life in perspective. Uh, no matter what your past is, no matter what your flaws have been, no matter how old you are or what you've done in your life, that you still have a life to live ahead of you. And you have to put that in perspective. And you have to put other opinions of people in perspective and you have to put your whole life in perspective. We talked about a video and I showed it to him from Gary V where he talks about how everybody complains about Mondays and how everybody bitches about their job and bullshits about their problems and just they complain about the day because it's the Monday morning, it's the Monday blues. And he said if he told you that that was the last Monday of your life you would have a much higher way of thinking and you would value everything you have in your life a lot more and go out and do things more and be more pumped to live out your life for as long as you have it. So he said you have to put that in perspective into your own life. So it doesn't matter what day it is, if it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, what if it was your last day? What if it was your last specific day? What if it was your last Tuesday or Wednesday? Would you sit there and complain about your job and what you did and didn't do? You know, he talked about how he respects that, yes, you might have debt to pay, you might have bills to pay, you might have kids to take care of, but the point of it is that you should live your life every single day hyped up for the next day or the day that's to come or waking up pumped because you have a life to live and you have goals to achieve and dreams to create for yourself and you should live every day like it's your last day and don't settle for anything less. Putting people's opinions in perspective means that nobody's opinion matters besides your own. The only person that you should valid look for validation in the opinions is your own. Valuing other people's opinions is okay. It is 100% okay to take people's opinions into account and apply them to your life if you feel like they're good for you. But what matters the most is your happiness and your satisfaction with your progress and your contentment when it comes to achieving your goals. Are you satisfied with how you reach them? Are you happy with how your life is? And if you're not, you need to change that for you and not for anybody else. So guys, like I say always, just remember that no matter what the world has to say, tomorrow is a brand new day. The choice is yours. Go out and be more. See you guys.